Hello everybody, Marcos Villegas here with former U.S. Olympian Marcus Brown who's taking on Badu Jack this Saturday as the co-main event of this Manny Pacquiao versus Adrian Broner fight. Now this fight has been said by many people that it could end up stealing the show. Uh -huh. Stylistically, it's a great fight. Uh -huh. Are you seeing it as that, that it's a fight that you feel will take away the spotlight from the main event? I mean, that's my plan, to, you know, to steal a show. That's what I always really come to do. But especially with this style fight, you know, his style, my style, it's a, it, I, it makes for a beautiful marriage. And uh, I, think, I think that's what's gonna happen. I think we're gonna steal a show that night, Saturday night. Badu Jack's a guy who comes forward, pressure, pressure, and attacks the body. But you're a guy who hits really, really hard. What's gonna happen there? Do you feel that he's gonna be able to do that? I mean, honestly, I, I, I hope he does that. Let him come and try to attack my body if he wants to. But we got plans for him as well. And uh, we'll see what happens Saturday night, man. I'm ready to unleash some, this fire right here that I got going on, man. What would happen, or what will happen, if he does try to impose himself on you? Um, that's for me to know, me and my team to know, and for you guys to find out. Uh, what will happen is it'll be dangerous for him. I, I think he knows it. I think Lou Delval knows it as well. And uh, which is why they're trying to switch lefty, go southpaw, and do things that he never really does, and uh, try to make me uncomfortable. But we'll see what happens come Saturday night, man. When you've seen a fighter who's a veteran like he is start doing things like what you mentioned, right. what do you think? That, that shows that he's confused and they really don't know what they're, they're coming to do. You know what I'm saying? It's not something that he really does. It's not something that we're familiar with seeing him do. So we'll see come Saturday night if it'll work. And I dare him to go lefty. I dare him to. Why are you daring him? Because I'm, I'm good with lefties. I mean, I'm a lefty and I, and I know how to take care of him. Like I mentioned, he has a lot of experience, uh -huh. a world champion at, at, at certain points of his career coming in, as yeah. well in this fight, yeah. as that. Given that, this is your first step up, I would say, to right. his level. Uh -huh. What do you make of that aspect in this fight? Well, I, I don't feel like he's the best fighter I've ever been in the ring with in my whole entire career, you know what I'm saying? Fight in a fight, maybe, yeah, but just in the, in the, in the ring with, with a great fighter, I don't think he's the best. I give him that respect. I respect him as a man and I know he's a tough fighter and I know he's hard-headed as a fighter, tough and rugged. So, you know, we're prepared for that mentally, physically, and spiritually, man. I, I've had the best camp of my, camp of my life this, this past, you know, for the five, past five weeks. And uh, I'm in the best shape of my life, man. Looking at his last performance, his last few performances, uh -huh. one against Stevenson and the other fights, uh -huh. how do you think he is coming into this fight? And do you feel that the moment you're catching him, is he at the, the very best, or you've seen him little by little age affect him? I mean, I think I'm getting him at a good, at a good point in time. You know, he's as best as he can ever be. He's, you know, well rested, fresh. Uh, his battery's recharged, you know what I'm saying? So I think I get, I'm getting him at the right time. And I mean, not the right time saying he's vulnerable, meaning the right time that he's, he's up and ready for this fight to fight a young fighter like myself. His fans, his supporters would say, Marcus Brown, you haven't fought with anybody to the level of, of him. You can't come in here saying that you're going to do this and that because he, he's proven. What would you say to that? I believe in me. That's why I'm here, to, that's why I'm here today because I believed in myself. And uh, so no matter what they say, they can't fight for him. They can only talk for him. And that's about it. In the fight, mentally looking at it, what's going to happen? Uh, it's going to be a grinder. It's going to get to a point to where it's a grinder of a fight and made the best man win, and I'm the best man. You see yourself stopping him? Smile, you do, huh? I don't know. You don't know? Nah. You just saying that, or you do know? I don't know. I think you do know. I, you, know. <laughs> you know. I don't know. I can't tell fortunes or whatever, okay. but... <laughs> I mean, you know what time it is. Everybody know what time it is. I'm ready, man. If you are victorious, what do you think this does for you in your career? When I am victorious, uh, it'll just catapult me, you know, into the, into everybody's eyes. I'm grateful to be fighting on this stage. You know, Pat, Manny Pacquiao's first time in the United States in, in two years. Adrian Brown, a great guy. I'm grateful to just, you know, be able to show my and display my talents on this on the stage. I'm grateful, man, and I'm just thankful. Certainly, if you win, you're gonna finally accomplish your dream of, of being a world champion. I know for a long time you've had a lot of promise, a lot of eyes on you, and you've had to really work your way up to get to this position. What is it gonna to mean to you when you're in that ring and you do win it and you do win that title? Uh, it'll mean everything, man. This is what me and my trainer Gary Starr been working on since I was 13 years old. I'm 28 now. And uh, the time, there's no, there's no better time. I'm in the prime of my life and the prime of my career. Marcus, man, I can't wait for this fight. Thank you. Me neither, man. Thank you. God bless you guys, man.